Why do people differ in intelligence? Why are some people smarter than others? It's quite controversial. And for over a hundred years, people have thought that part of it might be down to genetic differences to some extent. The evidence has always been from things like twin and adoption studies. It's been indirect. We've had no direct biological evidence that there might be a genetic contribution to people's differences in how they score on intelligence tests. This new research we have in the journal Molecular Psychiatry is the first, as far as we are aware, biological evidence that some of people's differences in intelligence test scores are down to genetic factors. We were able to collect over 3,500 individuals in cohorts from Scotland and in England and we had their mental test scores, scores on things like IQ tests. They then allowed us to test their DNA, their genes, and we looked at DNA differences in half a million different places, and we scanned that on all of these individuals. And what we found was the following. We found that taking all of these gene differences, these half million gene differences into account, we could explain about 40% to 50% of why people differ in intelligence and find that somewhere in the genes. Now what I want to emphasize is that we did not find individual genes that explain intelligence differences. What we found was that somewhere in these genes we can explain about just under half of why people differ in intelligence. The teams involved come from the University of Manchester, University of Edinburgh, and also from a research institute in Brisbane, in Australia as well. The implications of this research are that we know fairly certain that somewhere in the genes there are differences between people that explain quite a lot of why they differ on important thinking skills in old age. We still got to find whether those are the same differences that would apply to people's thinking skill differences at younger ages as well. We don't know that yet and we can't assume it and it will be important to follow these questions up. Also, another implication is that given we now know that genetics contributes some of the differences in old age, we know of, of course as well that some of that will be down to environmental differences. So following up why genetic differences contribute and which genes they are, and why the environment contributes and what aspects the environment contribute will be important to follow up too. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.